Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel where I now recently twice a week talk about Taiwanese related news in local and international media to keep Taiwanese and foreigners alike updated on what is actually going on here in Taiwan. We're currently in between two new years. Well, I guess if you think about it, we're actually always in between two new years. But what I'm talking about right now is that we're in between the Gregorian New Year, January 1st, and the Lunar New Year, which will come up in February. Which is why I want to celebrate a little bit extra and give away a free gift in the end of this video. But before then, we have, as always, a lot of news to cover. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, or if you haven't even seen one of the previous news videos, then you should know that the news that I'm covering in these videos will cover pretty much everything, just like the snow in Taiping Shan. Now, I know that these snow reports is something that I talked about last week already, but this week we have even more snow reports and with those even more beautiful photos of the snow here in Taiwan to share. And I have to admit that these photos from here in Taiwan actually brings back my Swedish childhood memories when we will be out playing in the snow year after year. But one huge difference between the snow in Sweden and the one here in Taiwan is that in Sweden, due to the harsh winter and road conditions, during snowfall in Sweden, then you will see traffic jams and just cars everywhere since they have been trying to get home from work, from school or whatever, and getting stuck in this snowfall simply because they didn't have time to head back home in time. And here in Taiwan, you will actually also see super long traffic jams because of the snow. But the difference here is that people are actually trying to get up into the mountains before before the snow melts away. And according to the Taiping Shan National Forest Recreation Area, more than 1,000 vehicles had lined up since early morning, resulting in a six kilometer long queue. That's crazy, a thousand vehicles just lining up just to get a glimpse of snow. Now, as a Swede, I have to admit, I probably wouldn't even try to get out of my way just to see snow. But then again, if I had some snow tires on my scooter, it would still be quite convenient to just drive by and pass along all these 1,000 vehicles as long as I don't try to do this in Kaohsiung as one scooter rider recently got fined four times within two minutes. When I first read this news, I was completely shocked. A woman in Kaohsiung got fined four times in two minutes for breaking traffic rules. I didn't even know they had four traffic rules in Kaohsiung. But then as I was reading, it started to make a little bit more sense since it turns out that this woman was actually breaking the same traffic rule four times in two minutes, which was that she was not signaling as she was changing lanes. Now I am all for following the traffic rules and I think that the police who actually did fine her only did his or her job. But have you ever tried to ride a scooter in Kaohsiung? You thought 10,000 trees in Taichung Central Park was a lot. Just imagine the number of trees we would have to cut down just to print the paper that the police in Kaohsiung would need if they were going to try to find every single traffic violation in Kaohsiung. But to be fair, signals are important. And I'm not only talking about the signals on the street in Kaohsiung. I'm not only talking about the signals in our world. I am talking about the signals from outer space space, which is why Taiwan has created two satellites which will be launched into space by SpaceX later this week. One of these satellites will focus on researching how plasma in the Earth's ion sphere or upper atmosphere affects radio waves which are used for communication in 5G networks. And according to the Minister of Science and Technology, Wu Zhengzhong, this reflects the government's commitment to supporting space-related endeavors, whether in terms of scientific research, talent cultivation or economic benefits. Which I guess is why they chose the very scientific name, Flying Squirrel. I mean, flying squirrel, really? In, in addition to this satellite that will be launched by SpaceX, the Taiwan government recently invested 4 billion Taiwan dollars in a project to eventually launch their own communication satellite in 2025. But then this satellite will be launched from the Florida Space Station. And this is a great opportunity to promote Taiwan's technological achievements, professionalism and international expertise. And they chose to name this satellite Flying Squirrel. Are you nuts? Well. That would actually explain the relationship with the squirrel theme, I guess. And speaking about nuts that won't get fired up until 2025, Taiwan recently saw a sharp decline in fertility with a 7.04% decrease in the number of births last year. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Cut, cut. Uh, I do apologize for that transition and I promise that I will cancel all my other plans for this video just to make sure that that transition goes as smooth as possible. Which is exactly what the US Trump Organization did as one of the biggest news last week was that the US ambassador to the United Nations will visit Taiwan. Followed by another one of the biggest news last week which was that the US ambassador to the United Nations will not visit Taiwan since the US Trump Organization wants to focus on the White House transition to make sure that the US presidency exchange go as smooth as possible so there's nothing in between to stop the flow as things are going in and out. Speaking about things going in and out, I think I should just give up this transition as well. Okay, give me one more chance, folks. Speaking of Trump coming out of the White House, only 165,249 babies came out in Taiwan last year, which is one of the reasons for why the Taiwanese population fell for the first time on record. But although the Taiwan general population growth hit a record bottom, the general Taiwan export hit a record high with semiconductors, which are mostly used in computers, laptops, and all other kinds of electronics, was the biggest factor of the Taiwanese export growth since pretty much the entire rest of the world are currently busy setting up their own personal working from home stations due to the pandemic. Although China still is Taiwan's biggest export destination, the export to the US specifically also hit a record high and I personally think that these US exports will only continue to increase in the future since the US recently lift restrictions on interactions between the US and Taiwan. This really is a big deal and history in the making as the officials calls it since US and Taiwan representatives actually already has met in the US embassy in the Netherlands. This is something they were absolutely not allowed to do before and any meetings between US and Taiwan had to be kept unofficially in other non-embassy places such as hotel rooms. This change and lift of the US restrictions has of course upset China. We're not gonna go into too much politics and opinions here. I will leave that to other YouTubers and other channels to discuss. But I think we can all agree on that everyone should be allowed to visit the places you want to visit without having a third party tracking you, seeing where you're going and what you're up to. Well, if you agree, I just want to take one minute and talk about NordVPN, who not only is supporting my channel and these news reports since they are the sponsor of today's video, they're also offering a great VPN service, which I personally have used for years, even talked about previously on this channel, since I simply cannot recommend it enough. I hope you've already watched my video about how WHO were blocking the name Taiwan and if you did then by now you should already know the basics about NordVPN and VPN service in general that it adds another layer of security to your internet connection and also allows you to connect to servers all over the world so you can change your internet connections location which believe it or not is something you actually need to do in order to access everything that is publicly available online since a lot of content nowadays is really Originally locked due to distribution rights and other terms and conditions. <coughs> Netflix. They also offer 24 7 customer service, so in case you have any issues, you can always contact them 24 7. But to be honest, the only issue I've had with NordVPN after using it for five years myself is that no one was offering me a discount when I first signed up, which is something that I, or well, NordVPN, I guess I shouldn't take any credit for this, is offering you by clicking on the link that I have down in the description. But as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I also have a special gift for you and that is one free month of NordVPN. All you have to do is to use the code LUCAS during checkout. And if you're still a little bit uncertain, rest assured that they do have a 30 day money back guarantee, which means that you will get a complete refund if you're not satisfied within the first 30 days. That risk free 30 day trial will last well past Lunar New Year. So if you're one of the 1,500 extra travelers who are planning to come here to Taiwan during the Lunar New Year, then rest assured that although you are not, if you try NordVPN, at least your internet connection will be free to travel the world during quarantine. That was all the news I had to share this week. If you haven't already, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Also hit that bell to get notified as soon as I release new videos and keep an eye open just in case there happen to be another full Chinese live stream on this channel later this week where we talk about these news and my personal updates in more detail. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. Starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.